This is a big fucking deal. They'll be calling you a radical. So, hello, read my fucking lips. Trump did this today. Trump, Donald J. Trump did this, you Kool-Aid fucks. He handed fucking New Scale 1.3 billion. Fucking, hello in Utah. I'll go back to the beginning. In the early 2000s, when we had some fucking momentum trying to get some fucking solar, trying to overcome some fucking, you know, because of the wars. Fossil fuels. Utah, I was paramount in this getting through, got through a bill called AMPS. AMPS was a fucking bill that was a whole program to get alternative energy in Utah. This is clear back in 2004, five. We got it through. A big accomplishment. Solar, wind, wind, solar. So, under the program, your bill, your light bill here in Utah, and a part of Idaho, Utah Power and Light, who's now fucking been cannibalized. Scottish Electric own it now. Some global oligarch owns it is going to the state for solar and wind. The funds started getting full of money. So the nuclear energy, post-Fukushima, by the way, the meltdowns, that Trump and Obama identical cover-up twins, the biggest ecological catastrophe in human history. They start to see it. So stay with me. Idaho National Lab right up the road here. They've been messing around testing what we call SMRs for 60, over 60 years. They've blown up up there and killed people more than once. We had tanks of nuclear waste blown up there recently. So these people that come out of these universities that go to work for these nuclear labs, Livermore, Los Alamos, you know, the Sendai lab down there, out of Oak Ridge, Tennessee. They all know there's a bill that was passed through Congress called Price-Anderson, 1957, I believe, to bolster the nuclear industry. Einstein went crazy about that bill then. Got through basically says that any company that is experimenting with nuclear energy, nuclear this, bombs, whatever, there's no liability. So all these guys go through these universities, what I, they know. This is the scam of all scams. This is the greatest scam in human... It's the easiest fucking billionaire fucking route on earth. Epstein Island on chemo. So, Jose Reyes, who's working at Idaho National Lab. Now, Fukushima happens, the Nuclear Regulatory Committee, which works for us, the taxpayers, who's supposed to guard us, a guy named Gregory Jacko is head of the... during Fukushima. Inside the Situation Room, he cowered down and just did nothing. Well, Obama covered up to protect the nuclear industry. Obama was totally propped up by the nuclear industry. Axelrod come right out of the nuclear industry. The Chicago nuclear, I mean, that's who propped him up. Hillary Clinton was running attack ads in the swing states against Obama. Nuclear, nuclear, nuclear. So, in 2005, when everybody's got their eyes on the war, they re up Price Anderson, Price Anderson for 20 more years. So these guys know this. I know the nuclear labs are on their ass. They're done. Nuclear is over. Rightfully so. We're getting rid of the salt treaties, Gorbachev, Reagan, and just spilled over. We're getting rid of everything. Then comes the wars. 9-11, the Bush administration, they start talking about, you know, re-upping this. So then here comes nuclear Obama. He starts pushing this. So, Jose Reyes, CEO, used to work at Iowa, so then becomes Allison McFarland, head of the Nuclear Regulatory Committee. I talked to Allison. You could see that video where I'm going off on her. The only person ever went off her on the cover of Fukushima. But she said, no, these little new scale, they don't have it. They never will. It's a sham. She called it a sham. She did a presentation in San Juan Capistrano. I'll have it on film, talking about they'll never have an answer for the waste hunter. It's just a sham. Forget it. 10,000 years they'll never have a way. Forget it. So, much to the chagrin of Barack Obama. So, Energy Solutions here in Utah, 
I had them run out of the fucking state. They were done dealing with me. They merged with a company in Texas called Waste Management. By the way, who Rick Perry's on the board. Obama, who never filed antitrust against anyone. Obama administration files antitrust suit against the merger of Energy Solutions and Waste Management in Texas. They were headed out of here. Of all things, he didn't do it against Amazon. He didn't go against Microsoft. By the way, Microsoft was stalled here in Utah. His invent operating system was invented here. Word perfect. Alan Ashton, who's David O. McKay's grandson. Bruce Bastian, who's Philo Fonzo's grandson. You know, not to mention Nobel of them. Doesn't file. He does. He lets Bill Gates steal this. By the way, that Bill Gates is in on this sham. Yeah, he owns nuclear. Power. He. By the way, the day before yesterday, Bill Gates himself got an eighty million dollar grant. Before today, one point three billion for new skills. So they win. Energy Solutions is back. So they start talking. We're going to bring the seven hundred thousand tons of depleted uranium to Utah. Nobody's fighting it. You know, Hill of Utah, Matt, did, used to be good work. Matt couldn't do it anymore. I worked with, Matt, I was one of the original groups who started Hill. It was based on anti-nuclear energy. And Matt was the shit. He was fantastic. We had Ashley. She bolded. Fuck, everybody bolded on me. Matt quit. He couldn't do it anymore. I don't blame him because of threats. He has kids. that, that These people don't play. I mean, look at the bribes in Ohio. Look at that. They threatened to kill people. And we were getting all getting threats by the nuclear I mean... I'm like, I'm full of cancer. I'm like, fuck you. I'm not afraid of you. So, Governor Herbert promises me he'll block. Now, Governor Herbert's father was in the bone marrow transplant center at Huntsman while I was in at LDS. He died. And he promised me. Every governor there ever has is blocked the waste from coming here. Democrat, Republican for 70 years. They depleted, including woman, Olin Walker, my neighbor. She blocked it. He promised me he'd block it. So I'm down in the legislative freaking arguing with these guys. That bill comes through. We're going to put this out here. And I'm like, why, why, why? Oh, because it's legal to gift in Utah. It's not legal to bribe. And they were bribing. I caught them bribing. I caught new scale bribing and energy solutions work together. Caught them dead red multiple times. So I asked Jose Ray, uh, excuse me, Sean Ray is the attorney general at the Bear River Massacre. It's online. He's our attorney general. There's Jose Reyes is claiming he's your, why else? I mean, it makes logical sense, right? Oregon, the company's in new scale. Oregon says, fuck you. We shot, that was our group. You know, Lonnie was there, Kevin Finnegan, the whole poster, and probably everybody was there. Kevin Finnegan sat right next to her. Oregon says, fuck you. You're not putting this here. We've had enough of Hanford. We've had enough of Fukushima. Everybody told them, no, 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 no. Except Utah. So they're back to the depleted rain. I'm asking them all. They pass it. Governor, I did an interview with the governor. He promised me, no, no, I'm kicking the beds. He'll veto just like every single governor we've ever had for 70 years has. Oh, not dirty Herbie. He let it in. So it's here. So then, new scale. So Trump gets elected. I knew we had problems when he named Christine Stovalkovich head of the NRC. I'm like, oh my God, isn't this the one that used to be an adjunct professor around here? I think I know her, you know? So I reached out to Alice McFarland's people, and they're like, oh, boy. Then I found out she worked at Idaho National Lab. Then I found out she worked closely with Jose Reyes. So new skills started popping up. They're coming in, lobbying in Utah to change the AMPS bill that nuclear energy is part of alternative energy, which it's not. It's a renewable. They want to change the language on the bill. I'm like, fuck you. They did the same thing, tried to do the same thing in Ohio, where they got bribes, they've arrested many legislators. The FBI is in there right now. They New York says King Cuomo, same thing. They robbed it, looted it without any oversight, seven point six billion. So the nuclear industry, they start going to lobby. Well, you got me. I'm in the state house fighting them tooth and nail. Well, I'm full of cancer. So Obama had rolled into Salt Lake and into Utah when he came here, and I'm protesting. I'm like, this is what it's all about. So what they did. The Department of Energy went to every single little municipality around Utah. They went to Morgan, Brigham City, Logan, Lehigh, Bountiful, every little one, and says, hey, here's 200000 a grant. Well, for what? 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 What's this for? You know, just because, you know, form a consortium, form a nonprofit here, and just handed certain individuals money to go to promote this. I'm like, this is so fucking dirty. 
This is the dirtiest thing I've ever seen. So under the rules of a small reactor, any nuclear energy, solar for that matter, any of it, you have to get private funding first. So this is where the big fraud, I'm the guy that dug it out. So I'm like, oh, where's the private funding? All of a sudden they come up and they have this Kenwood Financial. So I'm an ex-Wall Street guy, as you know. You know, I got cancer, as you know, in 2011. I was given too much to live. It's important that I've done all this work while I am in critical condition. I didn't have a bone marrow crown. I'm still in, you know, go talk to my doctor right at the top of LDSC. I was in there for four years. That's a 1% survival bracelet. I've done all this work on in critical condition. And so, I'm like, Kenwood Financial, I start digging in. Kenwood Financial is under investigation by the SEC for a Ponzi scheme. While, after they get the money, and I, I go to the Obama administration, I go, this is fraud. They get found guilty of a Ponzi scheme. Phony Ponzi scheme. I'm like, well, this thing's gone then. Nope, Obama stuff. So here comes in Trump. The handoff, the nuclear handoff. Fuck, I wouldn't believe it. So, wouldn't just the fact that she's the one that approved this reactor, she's head of the Nuclear Regulatory Committee's work for us, and Jose Arez worked together. I don't know. Isn't that fucking fraud right there? The f money's fraud. I'm like, fuck this. And then I catch him under the fucking Utah State Legislature, under the stairs, I have videos of a lobbying while in session, which is against the law in Utah. You can gift, but you can't, I mean, eat fraud after fraud after fraud after fraud, just layers of it. I'm like, all over the world screaming and yelling. I'm in Vienna. I'm in Austria. I'm uh, you know, protesting there. You know, I run into the Utah contingency there. You know, they have to go, by. I'm in Vienna at the Blanche Box, you know. Why the fuck would Utah be funded? Aren't you guys down? With, yeah. Of all places on earth. It's an Oregon company, private company. Well, I'm like, So Trump, he's promoting, promoting fucking restarted nuclear testing. He wants to start nuclear testing in Idaho. Excuse me. In about, he's already started in Idaho. I've been up there proving. it. Fuck, they roll up on me on a military SUV at the National Lab, which is supposedly a fucking, it's not supposed to be a military site. You can hear, I'm videoing. Boom, boom, boom. They're shooting off their 50 cows there. Fuck. So it's all fraud. It's all fraud. Lehigh backs out. So the state of Utah, the tax is coming out of your bill for 15 years. New Scale's already got $280 million of our money. Plain ripped us off. And here's fucking Mike Lee. I'm in critical condition. Fine. Now, so they award New Scale $1.3 billion today. One point now think about this. This is the state of Utah under AMPS, which we're going to get none of it. Do you know that Mike Lee, now this is a federal grant. Where's Mike Lee on this? Pull your up. I thought he was fiscal responsible. Where the fuck's he? You know I'm in critical condition. He kicked me off new, uh, Medicaid after I forked over a million dollars and broke me. So in Utah, there's so many people that are off Medicaid. Not to mention, that's his claim to fame, Trump and uh, Mike Lee kicking people off food stamps. $180 a month, they fucking, we've taken off thousands in Utah food stamps. Yay. Do you know what $1.3 billion could do for the Medicaid program in the state of Utah? For our kids, for people like me who are uninsured, there's fucking cancer victims. And Mike Lee, this is his thing. Where the fuck is he on this? Where the $1.3 billion, Mike Lee? Fucking just ripped off. Ripped off. They've already come out and says, okay, under the ant scale, We'll have these by 2021. Next year, they're supposed to have them online. Then they come out, says, by 2023. Then they come out last year, says, no, by 2026. They came out just two months ago and says, no, we won't have by 2029. But under Price Anderson, they can get the money, and then they'll say, oh, too bad, didn't work, bye, fuck you. They don't have to pay it back. The taxpayer does. After they've already ripped off the state of Utah for 280, now Lehigh's backed out, Logan's back. That's my work. I'm the guy in there here. Bountiful's going to back up. Oh, Wells, Nevada's going to go. You ever been to Wells, Nevada? Population 32, two brothels in a casino. Yeah, they're going to put a nuclear reactor out there. I think it, I could see it fucking now. Come to Donna's, get some nuclear fucking nuki. A little nuki never hurt anyway. It's perfect, ain't it? I'm going to, I have my little nuki shirt. There are brothels out there. I could see it. I'm going to go out there and talk to them. I'm going to say, hey, I got an idea for a new ad campaign. You guys are going to put a little nuki. A little nuki never hurt anybody. Come to Donna's. 
That's the brothels out there. That's all this. I mean, it's insanity. It's insanity. Where the fuck is Mike Lee on this? I, I, it's the most corrupt thing I've ever seen. Everybody's like, oh, how come you're blaming for control? Are you fucking the buck shops where? He's been president for how long? He handed it to him. He just did this. Trump's the president of the United States. Fucking Kool-Aid drink and fucking some asshole. Oh, this wasn't on Trump's watch. Fukushima. The fuck it ain't. The cover up of Fukushima right here, right now, t today. I'm fucking real. Here's Burgess Solon says he's okay with restarting fucking tests at Nevada test site. He's from Brooklyn. Oh, he played football. Oh, he's not from here. I work with Ben McAdams getting this bill through. Ben McAdams got the bill through. They passed it. They pulled the money out to try to block the fucking... Trump wants to restart fucking... Downwinders? I have leukemia. My dad died fucking young of fucking cancer, AML. Fuck Scott Matheson, our governor, died of it. Fuck, we go on fucking... Mike Lee's dad died of it young. Fucking... Dirty Herbert's governor died. How about John Hudson? His boat, that's when he died from cancer. I mean, we're all fucking downwinders. The, what are these SMRs at New Scale in Idaho? You know, I'm in the bone marrow transplanted LDS. You wouldn't believe the people from Arco, Idaho, and then the die. Fucking Paul, my friend. You see me in front of Alex Carter going on with my friend Paul at Atomic City, born and raised. He knew. He knew that one of them blew up up there. Twice it's happened. How about this exact same reactor blew up at Santa Susana? Do you know about Santa Susana? In the valley, in L.A., Kim Kardashian just made a statement. Vince Nils, little daughter, died. He sued him. Stevie Nicks made a big deal about it. I see that Stevie Nicks is hooked up with Cameron Crowe. Now, I have connections with both Stevie. She's from here. Cameron Crowe, PB, his mom, and my grandparents. Oh, my God, I can't fucking believe it. She has a new album out. Cameron Crowe has produced. And I mean, come on. Where are these people? Fuck. How about 8-8 eight, eight on the fucking Russia White Sea? Do you know about that? I asked Governor fucking uh, Huntsman, ex-governor, he's the prime minister. I asked him to his face, man, it's on YouTube. Hey, John, what about this 8-8? It's an SMR, the exact same one the, the fucking Utah wants to put. Blew up and killed the a Sand. Oh, it's, that was a new call. No, it wasn't. Fuck, we know because of our tracer elements we have in Sweden. We have dishes and we can pick up the tracer. Putin admitted it was an SMR nuclear reactor. It blew up. I asked Huntsman, well, do you know about it? Yeah, I'm the one that collected the data. He's the ambassador. You know about Fukushima? Of course I know about Fukushima, Kevin. I was there running. Why aren't you screaming? Huntsman chemical cancer? The, you know, come on. Come on in Utah. Wake the fuck up. You're going to let these fuckers do this to us? I'm fucking so blown away. You know, I'm seventh generation here. I'm so disgusted. I've talked to Ben McAdams fucking staffer just now on, on the phone. Oh, my God. I'm like, he knows. He's, he, yeah, I mean... Where the fuck is Mike Lee on this issue? Come on, Mike. Your father died. I mean, you told me, right? In your face. You can look it up this online. Well, we just found out my dad's a downwinder. What the fuck? $1.3 In Utah? We're going to put little nuke reactors at Wells, Nevada. A little nuke. never, I mean, my God. They'll never build one of them. Mark my words. This is the most corrupt fucking... The fucking funding was originally fraud. Obama transformed it. Fuck, Trump and Obama are the fucking... They're identical fucking nuclear twins. I mean... Fucking unbelievable. I'm so disgusted. Riding with Biden, he any better? Fuck, he was vice president of Fukushima. Kamala. I know Kamala Harris's mom was the epidemiologist at Livermore. Yeah, that's right. Cancer research PhD. I used to protest with her. She died of cancer. I worked with Kamala Harris on the shutdown of San Onofre. She went after him first and then she dropped the ball. Man, what the fuck? Come on, this is Utah. Two hundred and eighty million. They've already ripped you off. New scale. This little. I mean, this creepy fucker. And his last name, Reyes. And I. It, it's irony because Sean Reyes sure made a point, didn't he, in that video? When I asked him about, like, well, no, Kevin, I'm not related to him. Okay. Do you know about these little new scale freaking up there that you trust me? He said he claimed he didn't know what they were. Now, remember, this is our turn. Then he sure turned around and he made a point. I want this to be clear. I am not related to that guy. He sure made a point of that, didn't he? By the way, he is related to that madman in the Philippines. And it's irony because one of her offices, I went to her, Christina's, yesterday. And I was like, really? She was in Idaho. She made a statement yesterday about these little reactions. She says, well, let me tell you. She says, if you're just talking about the waste, of course, you know, you'll lose the argument. But if you want to push these, you just say... 
to the girls. You don't have to go out in the woods and gather firewood. And you could, maybe 10 years from now, cure cancer when we know these things cause cancer. Ask fucking Kim Kardashian. Ask freaking Neil. Girls, 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 little girl. Ask Stevie Nicks, Robin Anderson. Ask Governor Matheson. Ask Mike Lee's dad. Ask Huntsman's dad. I mean, that's what we do here. And I'm like, so she made a comment to me yesterday, emailed me their office and says, well, girls gather wood in the Philippines. I says, we gather woods here too. We like to go camping. By the way, you think Trump's ever been camping? We gather wood when we go camping. We love to go camping in Utah. You know, come with me. One day I'll take you. I know the state like no other. <laughs> I said, then why the fuck aren't you having this conversation in the Philippines? We aren't in the fucking Philippines. They were in Utah. I'm so fucking disgusted. I cannot fucking believe you. Where the fuck's Mike Leonard? But he'll send our fucking Medicaid money back. Millions. But he'll hand them one point fucking bill. You know what we could do with $1.3 billion in a fucking grant here in our Medicaid program? Fuck, we need money here for fucking health care so fucking bad. Oh, I know. I have no insurance. My teeth are fucking gone. I had recently had open heart surgery. My Mike Lee coming out of Medicaid, my, I was supposed to have my gallbladder when I was in the unit. I got kicked out of the bone marrow transplant unit you know, because I exhausted over a million dollars and I was too sick and they had to stop treatment on me. Everybody expected me to die. And I didn't die. I'm still alive, but I'm still fighting. I mean, I'm a long ways in this fight. And so, I don't know. I'm disgusted. You know, this is the biggest... F I mean, Utah, wake the fuck up. I mean, you're going to let these fuckers rip you off like that. Where the fuck is Mike Lee on this one? Romney? Fucking... Oh, my God. So, $1.3 they just handed this fucking thief. And they'll never build one, mark my words. Fucking... Unbelievable. Wells, Nevada. <laughs> yeah, population 32. They're going to put a nuclear reactor at the fucking brothel. Okay, okay, sure they are. What a fucking ripoff. We already been ripped off 280 million in the state. It was for solar and wind. And they just stole it. Just plain ass come in here, walked in here. And I'm in the legislature fucking asking these guys, you're not going to really let them. They gift them. Hey, you want to stay out of condo in San Diego? Here, here, here. Okay. I asked, what's your name from Clearfield that I grew up with? I says, how come? Because? Because? What kind of answer is that? We've been had. I mean, it's unbelievable. Stay in tune.